So, I created the game in Unreal Engine in less than 24 hours with zero prior experience. And I have to say it was, uh, um, let's say it was interesting to say the least. Let's start at the beginning. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm a hobby game developer and I just released my first ever mobile game made in Unity. Lately I've been interested in switching to uh, Unreal Engine. Uh, and now with the recent drama it makes even more sense for me to try out the, let's say, competitor of uh, Unity. So I finally decided to take this leap of faith and try Unreal Engine. There's one problem though, I'm uh, pretty impatient and lazy. Meaning I definitely don't want to sit through multiple hours of tutorials or reading material. So I decided to challenge myself and create the game in 25 hours, no matter how small the game is or, or how buggy it is. I mean, big companies don't care, well, so why should I? Before I could start developing, I actually needed an idea of what I wanted to do. My idea was to create a, a fast-paced time trial kind of game. I decided to do this because I didn't really want to take the challenge of programming multiplayer since I have zero experience in U UE5 and zero experience in C++. Ah! Good God! It's hideous. But beautiful in an ugly way. But mostly hideous. I knew even this might be a bit of a challenge, so I decided to use as many shortcuts as possible. Which led me to Chaos Vehicle. And boy, do I have a love-hate relationship with them. Chaos Vehicles is a physics-based car implementation which is free to use in uh, Unreal Engine 5 but uh, man it has about 10 million settings on. I was kind of impatient I just started messing around to get the feeling what the, what the different stuff means. Uh, I'm not a very good at car things in general so I didn't really know what most of the stuff here meant. So I just kind of messed around until it felt kind of alright-ish. While messing around with the cars I noticed two things. Firstly, there was a, a delay for some reason for your mouse inputs, which was easy to disable. I just uh, took away a single checkbox and I fixed that issue. But the second issue which I had with the default implementation was that you couldn't move the mouse up and down, only left to right. Meaning um, they probably only added local rotation on two of the axes and not all three of them. So that was my first problem I wanted to solve in Blueprints. And I have no idea why, but I was messing around for it, with it for a few hours and I just decided to multiply it by minus one on one of the axes and that seemed to do the trick. I have no idea why or how, but I'm happy and I'll just take any win I can get at this point. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, that just made what the hell? Trust me, I was way happier than I actually sounded in the clip. With hindsight now, I think it's actually a good problem I encountered because it was a, a manageable problem to solve with blueprints, especially for a first blueprint problem. At this point, I actually would like to mention that I'm a professional software engineer, meaning that I understand a lot of the terminologies they use here or even patterns they suggest to use. Meaning, if you want to start with Unreal Engine, it might be a bit more difficult for you with blueprints if you don't have any programming experience. Just a little heads up. Riding the high of this win, I decided to add a new 3D model for the car and boy, the next few hours I just spent was trying to attach a 3D model to this kind of rig setup. What the fuck is this piece of shit? So I, I'm, I messed up the car pretty bad uh, in the template because uh, after a while the wheels just wouldn't spin anymore and I couldn't undo enough. I would be lying if I said I didn't panic at this moment. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Kind of felt really down at this point and I was thinking about unaliving myself and just doing another challenge. But I didn't quit, I persevered and I just took another car template I found in, in another folder, so. Nice. 
apparently the saying should be second time's the charm because second time it actually was pretty easy adding the 3d model and i didn't waste four hours once i had the 3d model i was ready to take on a new challenge level creation since I have zero experience with 3D models and textures, I decided to use Megascans as much as possible. Megascans is a 3D model and texture library packaged inside of Unreal Engine 5 and I have to say it's amazing for creating quick and easy realistic environments. I mean, just watch this time lapse and see how quickly I can create a decent looking environment. While I show the time lapse of the first level, I want to talk about core design I wanted to have for each level. I wanted every level to be kind of similar in that sense that I wanted it to turn night. So why did I want to have this fast time lapse? Well, mostly because I wanted to have something which is dynamic in the level. And I thought maybe changing the skybox quickly would be the easiest way to have like a dynamic effect going the whole time during the time trial. I didn't want to just have the time as be random, which is why I made the whole game themed about it turning night time or it turning dark, which is why the game will stop during dark and in the end of the development phase. At this point I also decided that the time would be counted down and not up, meaning you'd have 42 seconds for each level and if you do can't do it in those 42 seconds you just uh, lose the level. Since this video is becoming longer than I actually want it to be, I'm gonna quick fire some of the things I've implemented. Three, two, one, go! point I, I don't even have much footage to show you because I just was so engrossed in creating this game I just I just kept working on it like deep into the night which is also why in the end at the current version of the game I probably invested about 36 hours not 24 hours if I have to be honest so if you want to play this 36 hour version check out the link below maybe you can beat my high score